Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here comparing the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus with the Sony Xperia Z5. The Z5 announced the EFA 2015. Beautiful, beautiful phone in a lot of respects. Slender metal frame. Got this gold version with its frosted glass back. But it's really all about that camera. I'll come on to that in a little bit. Quickly talk you around the key design highlights of both though. They are very, very similar, very similar. 5.2 inch displays on both full HD panels, um, X Reality Engine, Triluminous displays, front firing speakers, five megapixel from cameras. Right hand side of both phones, you've got power buttons, volume rockers, as well as two stage camera buttons. But what you do have is a fingerprint scanner on the right hand side of the Z5. This fingerprint scanner um, can be assigned to multiple fingers and means you can securely power on your phone without even really thinking about it down at the base exposed micro USB connectors as well on both and to the left hand side you've got flaps for micro SD expandability and nano SIM card slots. One point of note is the fact that you've got this etched Xperia in the Z5 and in addition to that it's expandable by 200 gigabytes as opposed to the 128 gig expandability of the Z3 Plus. 3.5mm headphone jacks up at the top and around the back you've got those cameras. 20 megapixel camera, 20.7 megapixel camera on the Z3 Plus, 23 megapixel camera, new sensor on the Z5. You've also got NFC contact points, you can see the different finishes, glossy versus matte, um, and ultimately two really, really great looking phones. The Z3 Plus, we reviewed it, I kind of loved it, kind of hated it, because it got so freaking hot in my pocket. It's had some software updates to improve that um, over the last month or so. But one thing I can say for sure is the Z5 doesn't get quiet so hot. In fact, I recorded a whopping great big 10 minutes of 4K video on here and it didn't overheat. So that in itself is standalone awesome. You can also see you've got those front firing speakers. So from a multimedia point of view, um, they do a similar job there. The screens are going to showcase movies very similarly as well. Um, and in fact, I'd say these were identical for enjoying content on, but for creating content. What's awesome is the fact that the camera on the Z5 has been improved no end. This is the first new sensor we've seen from Sony since the Xperia Z1. Um, if I press the camera sensor to fire, camera button to fire it up, you can see if I tap the screen, it takes a picture really quickly, focuses in up uh, as quick as 0.03 seconds. So um, if I was to double tap on an area there, you can see it's been in perfect focus. I can try zooming in on something a little bit closer. Um, really quick and again the phone seems to be in focus there's digital image stabilization in play not optical and sony was giving us a big spiel about how they've improved the digital image stabilization um, in addition to that there's also a not lossless zoom but an intelligent zoom so we can go up to five times in and we can take a picture tap on it and in spite of the fact I'm zoomed in, it kind of doesn't look anywhere near as bitty as it would from a digital zoom. Not perfect, but definitely a market improvement over what we've seen in the past from Sony. Also, like I said, I recorded 4K video over uh, 10 minutes, which is really impressive, meaning that 4K video is finally a reality on mobile. It beats not only the Z3 Plus, but also every other smartphone that I have recorded 4K video on. In addition, from the multimedia point of view, you've got 32 gig of memory on board both. So that should be ample for most of your games. Um, and there's expandability and there's a Snapdragon 810 processor under the hood, paired with three gig of RAM. So it should be able to play any game that you throw at it. Um, on top of that, well, there's not really too much else to say. 2900 milliamp battery, they're really, really comparable devices. All the connectivity options you could hope for. Cat 6 LTE if you're here in the UK. And there's no IR blaster on either device. Um, there's no wireless charging, but obviously you do have that waterproofing. And ultimately, this is probably what the Z3 Plus should have been all along, in my opinion. It looks like a really, really solid contender. Feels mega premium. I just can't wait to get it in and really test out that camera. That's the thing that I am most curious about. If you've got any questions about it, then fire them in the comment section below. And if you like BTEC, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. That's how you're going to stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching.
micro SD and a micro SIM slot. So this is going to be expandable by 200 gigabytes, which is mightily impressive. 32 gig onboard memory, 3.5 mil headphone jack. This is going to also be compatible with a set of headphones that Sony is going to be releasing, which allows for both digital noise cancellation and high resolution audio all at the same time. Around the back, it's a new camera sensor, 23 megapixels. And um, what's really awesome about this is that it combines a new focus system with a range of other things to make it a